Hey everyone, my name is Sodom and I'm going to show you a replay of mine. Uh, I tried to get some replay footage in the last time but I haven't had that good games and uh, I felt like this one was, uh, was uh, a nice result for me in the last time. Okay, as you see it's on Stalingrad and I'm driving the T62A. Um, usually I don't really know how to play this map. But since uh, almost all uh, mediums always go this side, I'm just trying to stick with them. And I'm, I'm pushing forward a bit aggressively, but only because I want to improve my um, mark of excellence rating. So I, I need to get the most damage out of this game. Um, spot nothing on this corner. The first target spotted over there and over there. I decide that I stick with my flank but then I see the T-54 behind me. I sneak a shot into him. Probably saving the AMX. I'm trying to get another shot but he learned his lesson and he's not coming again. Now I see on the mini map that there's an 3090 to my left. And uh, I thought about going for him, but then I saw that he's on the other side of this large building. And then I saw that I couldn't do anything about it. So I decided to go down uh, this side. I see that the E75 is probably side scraping on this corner and holding down my allies. So I push around him carefully. Trying to sneak a shot into him, but a bit too much lead, I think. And there's M103 coming around the corner, not paying any attention. I track him. And uh, he doesn't repair his tracks. Seems like he doesn't have any repair kit. So I just keep him tracked, trying to be hauled down, side scraping around this rock. A rubbish thing, but it doesn't really work. I'll look where I penetrated, maybe to adjust my angle, but I think that my rate of fire is just good enough to, to kill him without taking another shot. Yeah, there's some camera glitch going on in the replay, but it's not really that bad. So now I can handle this E75, who really was side-scraping and is being tracked by the object. I think it's an object. Oh, the T-54 one. So now I hunt down the 3090 to get the kill on him. Bounce the first shot, badly aimed, or really, you can't expect the bounce on it, but on this angle. So now I want to know where the E100 is, and then he gets spotted. So I go around him and try to get some shots from behind. All oh, those rubbish walls are in the way again. And that sneaky shot didn't hit. Now I see the waffle shooting through the um, fences and then I load an HE round to finish him off. I see the way that the E100 is facing and I come from behind again. Shoot one into the back of the turret. And then I see all these mediums coming in. And I go for the tracking shot, because if, if I get the tracking shot here, then I get lots of uh, assistance damage from my mates. Keeping, keeping him tracked while damage him. And uh, he's down. So the other flank pretty much collapsed. Uh, so instead of going to cap, because I want most of this, most out of this round, I'm just going around and trying to, um, yeah, get him from behind. See that this T-54 is probably not paying any attention to uh, to Israel because he's, he may be busy with these uh, allies over there. So just go, go after him. I see that my mates are capping, and then that's why I'm hurrying up, but bumping into this pile of rubbish again. This map is full of this shit. T-54 from behind. 
He's not paying any attention now. He may he noticed me and he's running away. But the T30 is uh, it's really holding him back, so I just can get shots from behind. I focus the WZ first because he's lower on health. Going for the tracking shot. Luckily that he tracked, and probably the T54 just team attacked him from behind. It was a bit lucky. I use his wreck to go haul down against the T-54, sniping his cupola. Now I load heat because I think that maybe I bounce on his turret, but it's not really needed. In the case of of only him showing his turret, I can still snipe his cupola. But I'm a dirty, dirty heat user and just shoot his turret. Now I load an APCR on for the last hit again. I'm trying to go through there, but I see that there's a graveyard of tanks and they're just blocking my way. So I have to go all the way around. Now the T-54 is complaining about me using the gold and... Yeah, he's right. That was dirty. That was pretty expensive. So now I'm on 6 kills and I'm trying to get the kill shot on the Waffle who killed my IS-8 mate and I get the kill and there's the last one I shoot on the move but there's a little bump on the road and I, I missed the shot going for the tracking shot again tracking him T-54 damages him on a low HP but it's just not enough my reload was like one millisecond too slow and the T-54 got the kill, denying my Radley Walters. Yeah, so that's it for the battle. Let's view the end stats. So as you can see, it was uh, a Top Gun high caliber, of course. 1451 experience without premium. I've damaged quite a lot of them. I wonder why I didn't get the Confederate Medal too. Um, 7,064 uh, damage and uh, where is it? 1,367 damage up on the tracking. So you see it really paid off. I traveled 2.76 kilometers in this game and I've uh, penetrated 25 out of 30 shots fired. That was pretty good. Uh, pretty good rate for me and I even got uh, 15,000 credits out of this because uh, even though I fired quite some well not quite some heat rounds but uh, some unnecessary heat rounds yeah so um, if you like this video maybe you can rate it down below until next time